Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Akfaisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about questions of university examinations. Maybe this video will be very helpful to you, especially for part one students who is doing graduation in chemistry. So let us start discussion of some questions. In 2016, these questions, these are questions you know, chemistry honors paper one. You have instruction like that, answer any five questions, selecting two from group A and three from group B. You also know in group A, all questions belongs to physical chemistry and group B, all questions belongs to inorganic chemistry. So you can see here question number one. What are the causes of deviation of real gases from ideal behavior? Derive Van der Waal equation and discuss its validity. This is one question. Now, if you go through the marks, 3 plus 4 plus 3. So just think how the distribution of marks for this question and how your examiner will evaluate your questions. So what are the causes of deviation of real gases from ideal behavior? Then derive Van der Waals equations and discuss its validity. So if you discuss about the validity, you will get the three marks. If you derive the Van der Waals equation, you will get the four marks. If you write the what are the causes of the deviation of real gases, you will get the three marks. The second question is explain law of corresponding states. If you write the complete about the law of corresponding states, what is the law of corresponding states? This belongs to gaseous chapters. You just also remember the chapter wise. And the evaluation of this question is two and a half. Now you have the second question. Explain the flowing. Vapor pressure, protons rules and liquid crystals. So here is no options. You have to write all these three. Explain the following. There is no choose. You cannot choose here. So you have to write A, you have to write B, you have to write C, you have to write vapor pressure, proton rule, liquid crystal. Then you will get the 4 plus 4 plus 4 and a half. Now we have third questions. Again, we have a part A, B, C. First, Define a specific equivalent and molar conductance. How are they related? The second question is how does inductance vary with dilutions? And the last question of this part explains seal constant. So if you define the specific equivalent and molar conductance, all the three terms, and how are they related? If you relate them, then you will get the seven marks. How does it induction uh, does inductance vary with the dilution? Uh, dilution se kaise inductance per effect per the if you discuss this point then you will get three and half and you have to explain a uh, sale constant then you will get the two marks now the last questions of this group a what is phase rule and explain the term involved in it so again we have the two questions here first you have to define the phase rule and then explain the term involved in it then you have described the phase diagram of water system. So for water system, you have seven and a half mark and for explaining of phase rules, uh, you have to five marks. Now friends, you can see group B from the inorganic chemistry. First question, write hybridization, a structure and shape of the molecules. So three into four. You can choose here 
any three. Write the hybridization structure and shape of the molecules. Three into four. You have not. You have to write all. So C I F three. Here something C I F three. Okay. H two O X C F two S four. SO4 2 minus. This is sulfate, xenon difluoride, water, and you have here CIF3. Now discuss the bond angles of H2O and F2O. Means you have to discuss it. Okay, what is the bond angle differences between water and in place of hydrogen, if replaced by the F2, what will happen here in bond angle? NO2 and NO2 plus. My friends, this is uh, okay. Now you have here the uh, B inter intermolecular hydrogen bond with suitable examples. I will check. Now you have the uh, 16, uh, 6 question. Write short note on the following. We have the diagonal relationship, molecular orbital, diagram of B2, bond Heber cycle, and fullerenes. So you have to explain each of the following bond Heber cycle. What does it mean? What is the diagonal relationship? P2 MO diagram you have to write and fluorine. Explain the electron affinity and electronegativity of elements. How do they vary in PT? PT means periodic table. If you explain them, you will get the 8 marks. And illustrate inter intramolecular hydrogen bonding with suitable examples. What is the meaning of inter and what is the meaning of Intra, not ultra, uh, intramolecular. Here is the mistake in questions. Intramolecular hydrogen bonding. And then what is inward pair effect? This is not inward pair, it's an inner pair effect. So sometimes you have to check the uh, word and sentences of questions also. And then you will try to answer it. Then if you write the inner pair effect with examples, then you will get the two and half. Explain the formation of tau bond with a special reference to dimerization of BS3. You know the formation of dimer and B2S6. This is the monomers and B2S6 is dimer. So, with the examples, you have to explain what is the meaning of tau bond. What are odd electrons molecules? Odd electron molecules which contains odd elect number of electrons. Illustrate with example and discuss their important properties. Discuss the chemistry of borax bead test. Uh, what is the borax bead test? So again, if you explain this, you have to explain this. If you have to explain, you will get the six plus six plus four and a half. Now draw the MO diagram of O2, O2 minus, O2 2 minus, O2 plus. Comment on their bond order and magnetic properties. First, you draw. Draw means you have to draw the molecular orbital diagram of these. Uh, for um, O2, O2 minus, O2 2 minus, O2 plus, and then accordingly you have to calculate the bond order between the oxygen and oxygen, and then what is the magnetic properties. Explain the following. This is the B has no unpaired electrons. B matlab a beryllium. This is the symbol has no unpaired electron yet it forms BEF2. Why? And the solubility of sulfates and hydroxide of alkaline earth show opposite trends. If you explain, then you will get the this value marks. So my friends, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching. Again, I am going to show you just concentrate on group A and group B. Group A from physical chemistry. Out of four, you have to write only two questions. And group B, out of here nine, means here five questions. You have to choose only three.
questions but you have to write the complete questions for example if you are attempting 7 8 and 9 then you have to write a b c a b c a b and all these two questions if you are choosing b 6 7 8 you have to write all this then you will get the full marks full marks means whatever you have the evaluations if believers um, if your examiner uh, will check and uh, he will satisfy your answer then definitely you will get the good marks so my friends do your hard work and go through the previous year questions and solve these questions with the help of books i hope you will success in your exams thank you very much